In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint up the Empire half of the Star Wars Legion starter set. I will show you quick and fast techniques to paint these up without sacrificing quality. For this translucent area on the speeders, I wrap it with painter's tape. This way, I can paint everything fully assembled and have a really nice grip on the base without worrying about getting paint onto the translucent rod. The first thing I want to do is prime everything black. You can do this with an airbrush or a spray can. To speed up the priming process, I'm going to put everything on a paint stick. I fold up some regular old duct tape or you can use double-sided tape and then place the models next to each other all the way down the stick and you may have to use several sticks for this. After that, go ahead and spray with black primer and make sure that you cover everything from all angles, top, bottom, everywhere around. Try your best not to leave any bare spots. For the next step, you'll want to remove Mr. Vader over here. We do not want to paint him in the next color. And that next color is white. You can either use white primer, which I have here, or you can use white airbrush paint, or you can also use a white aerosol can. Spray everything from a zenithal highlight 45 degree angle all the way around. Now you want to make sure you lay down enough white that the helmets especially appear nice and bright. That will tell you that you have enough saturation of white on your models. After this, you can take all the models off of the paint stick to allow you to have a good 360 degree access all the way around them as you paint. For the officer's pauldrons, I'm going to be using Sand Golem by Army Painter. I apply this with a medium tipped brush. Next, I switch to the main speed paint color, Grim Black. With a medium to small sharp tip brush, I apply it onto the weapons, as well as the gloves, and also onto other areas of the Stormtrooper, like its elbows, the armpits, the notches on top of the helmets, the eye sockets of all of the Stormtroopers, and also for the commanding officers, they have holsters on the left-hand side of their thighs as well, those get black. And next, for the DLT-19 Stormtrooper with the special weapon, you want to paint the entire weapon black. Also, he has a holster on the left-hand side and this huge backpack. Paint that black as well. The HH-12 Special Weapon Stormtrooper, what you'll be doing here differently is just painting this bazooka-like weapon black. But otherwise, they look like the rest of the Stormtroopers. For the scout troopers on the speeders, they get a lot more black on them. They feature a lot more black on their uniforms. So you'll be painting their gloves as well as their pistols black. A large area around the armpits are black and also these areas on the helmets are black. Continue painting grim black into all these areas that I'm showing here. Moving on to the speeders, most of the undercarriage and these two long rails up front are black. You want to go ahead and lay down grim black in these areas, but also note the areas that I'm leaving white. Now the areas I'm leaving white are going to get a brown speed paint later on. So make sure to not let the black seep into those areas. For the bed rolls on the back of the speeders, I use this palette bone speed paint and this gives it a lighter tone of brown. I also use this color on the saddles, but you can paint those black if you want. For the speeder's armor plates, I use hardened leather speed paint. And this goes on all the areas of the speeder I had left white earlier. I also paint these two straps on the bed rolls hardened leather as well. Moving on to Lord Vader, I am going to dry brush him with some uniform gray and a large makeup brush and I just want to make sure that there's not too much of it left on the brush and then basically just feather on the gray all over Vader front and back and basically try to hit all the upper highlight areas and leave the recesses black. 
Next, I'm going to use a medium detailing brush and apply some of this uniform gray onto the vertical stripes that are on Vader. They're going to be alternating stripes. There's two in the middle and then moving off onto the sides. Leave one gray and then one black and then gray and black all the way across. And then after that, you want to move down to his lower area right here. And it will be two stripes of gray that you'll apply here. Next, I'm going to use matte white acrylic paint. And the first area I'm going to apply it to is Darth Vader's lightsaber. And this is to set up the red that I'm going to put onto it afterwards. I also use this white and a detailing brush and I go back over all my models and if there's any areas that I had overpainted with grim black, I go ahead and paint over the areas that I had made mistakes. Next, I use this white as a highlight, especially on the top of all the helmets. Now, the helmets are a fairly big focal point on the Stormtrooper models, so you'll want to make sure that the very top dome of the helmet is as white as possible. You'll also want to apply this white onto any area that is close to the zenith light source, which means the light source that is directly on top. You'll want to make those look a little bit brighter than the areas that are cast in shadow. Now, you want to make your paints fairly thin. You want to thin them down with a little bit of water or medium so that it is a little bit more runny and this will prevent your highlights from looking splotchy. I'm going to use dark tone which has a nice black tint and this is going to be applied onto very minor areas of the helmets. Use a fine detailing brush and apply this wash into the mouthpieces of all the stormtroopers underneath their eye sockets and this just brings out those features. Next, I'm going to use some gunmetal metallic paint and I will be applying this onto the hilt and handle of Darth Vader's lightsaber. I also apply this metallic into other areas just to create interest, for instance this area here on the speeder. This coil-like feature on the backpack of the special weapons stormtrooper and then I also apply it onto certain areas of his guns here and here just to create points of interest. Now for some accent colors, I use blue, red, and green. And I apply the red and the green onto these areas on Lord Vader's chest piece. I apply some blue onto the lenses of the HH-12 Special Weapons Trooper right here. And then I apply some of these accent colors onto the areas of the speeder right here to create points of interest and to make it look like instrument panels and lighting. There are some dials and lights behind the DLT-19 Stormtroopers backpack as well. Go ahead and apply those colors there. And that's basically it for accents. For Darth Vader's iconic red lightsaber, I'm going to use this color by Turbo Dork. The color's name is Redium and Turbo Dork is a color shifting paint. I feel that this paint works really well for an application like lightsabers. Note that it may take two or three coats to get full coverage. Onward to basing. Now for this, I'm going to be using some stones, some of this green grass basing material, and also tufts of grass. Starting with the stones, I apply some gel super glue onto the bases and then I put the stones into place. I place them fairly randomly on each base so it doesn't look repetitive. And then once the glue dries, these stones will be locked in place. Also, to randomize, I do not put stones on every model, just a select few. Next, I use Elmer's glue or this dollar store knockoff, and I put some in a palette or a piece of cardboard. And then I use a very old brush, scoop some up, and then I lay it down onto the bases. I just make sure not to apply anything to the feet or to the rims of the bases. I then dunk the base into the tub of the green flocking material and it should stick to the Elmer's glue. For the tufts of grass, I use some regular super glue and just a good old screwdriver and then I just scrape away the area that I want to apply the tuft. I put a dab of super glue in the area and then after that I peel off a tuft of grass, place it on top of the super glue and then lightly push it down. Just like the rocks, when applying these tufts of grass, keep it fairly random of different sizes, sometimes a combination of sizes together, and for the larger bases, you can put more of them. The final touch is to clean up the rims. You'll want to use some of the black primer that you used before, just with a regular brush, paint around the rims just to clean up any overspray. 
protect all your hard work with two layers of matte varnish. Once the varnish is dry, carefully peel off the painter's tape that you put on the translucent rods on both the speeders. And once they come off, they will look nice and clean like this. After this final step, you've painted up the entire half of the Star Wars Legion starter box. They are now ready to take on the rebel scum that plagued the galaxy. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and that you picked up some tips and tricks to paint up this army quickly. Follow me as I paint up the rebel half of this box next. I'll see you in the next video.